Hey guys, it's David from TheUnlocker.com and today we're going to show you how to downgrade from iOS 7 to iOS 6. Okay, so first up, why you might want to do this. Uh, maybe you're using iOS 7 beta and you just are done with it, you don't like it, it's too glitchy, etc. This is how you can get back down to iOS 6. Also, uh, maybe if you're trying to update to iOS 7 and you're having issues where your phone got stuck, it's stuck on the Apple logo, all of that kind of stuff, this procedure will also work to fix that as well. So first thing you need is to have the latest version of iTunes, which you can get by clicking on this link here to be taken to Apple's website to get that. Next, you need to download the stock firmware. So click on this link here, find your device. Today I'm using an iPhone 5 and do the latest firmware. So that's usually 6.1.3 or 6.1.4 if you're using iPhone 5. And click download and save that to your desktop. Then plug your device in via USB. And then we're gonna turn it off. And wait for it to completely turn off. And once the screen goes completely black, we're going to turn it back on by holding down power and home at the same time. We're gonna keep holding until you see that Apple logo disappear and it turns black and let go of the power button, but keep holding home and keeping the device plugged in. And if you keep holding home, eventually iTunes will tell you that it's detected an iPhone in recovery mode like this. Uh, when that happens, you can let go of all the buttons and set the phone down, click OK. Then you're gonna click on the restore iPhone by holding down option if you're using Mac or shift if you're using a PC. And it'll let you choose the file and you're gonna choose the file that pertains to your exact device. Click open, it's gonna say it's gonna erase everything. Click restore and wait for it to finish. Once it reboots and it's all set, um, it's gonna ask you to log in with your Apple ID that the iPhone is linked to. And then it's gonna ask you if you wanna restore a backup or set up as a new phone, that's up to you. If you do have a backup from before you switch to iOS 6, um, you can use that. Do not, excuse me, before you switch to iOS 7. So if you have a backup from iOS 6, you can use that to reset up this phone and get all your stuff back. Then once you sync with iTunes, you'll get all back everything else that the backup didn't give you, like your apps and stuff like that. Uh, and then you're all set. Now you can either go and try to update to iOS 7 using our how-to linked underneath this video on our site or continue using it as iOS 6. Enjoy.